Hello everybody and welcome back to another Football Manager 2020 experiment. In today's episode we are going to be taking a look at Lecce in Syria and we are going to be super juicing their players in strength and in jumping reach. We're going to put both attributes to 20 and we are going to see how that will affect their performances over the course of a season. Now of course we need a baseline to be able to compare to so we have simmed the very first season five times with Lecce to see how they will perform on average over the course of those seasons and then we will do the exact same once again but this time with the increase in jump and reach and the increase in strength. Now we only did this for the outfield players, I left the goalkeepers to their own devices and if we take a look at the Serie A season preview you will see Lecce are predicted to finish bottom alongside Spal, Brescia and Verona so they are a struggling side newly promoted in Serie A not expected to do well Let's see how they perform without the increase. So in the very first year, without the increase in strength and jump and reach, Lecce have actually managed to confound expectations and finish in 16th place in Syria with a minus 14 goal difference and on 41 points. And as we can just confirm here, the boys do not have the increase. Um, that guy looks alright actually. But um, let's get on to season 2. Unfortunately in season 2 Lecce have been relegated only 3 wins on the board a minus 31 goal difference and only 24 points accrued. Into season 3 we go and Lecce are once again relegated this time finishing in 19th position with a minus 29 goal difference and 28 points. On to season 4 now and Lecce have once again managed to stay in the Premier League for the second time in 4 attempts this time finishing in 17th position on a minus 19 goal difference with only 31 points. Pretty fortunate to stay in the league with that number. But let's see how they do in the fifth and final season. The best season yet for Lecce finishing in 14th position comfortably staying in the league with a minus 22 goal difference and 41 points on the board. In terms of how that averages out over the course of those five seasons, Lecce actually averaged the 17th place position completely confounding expectations and staying in the league on average uh, on a 33 points on average and minus a 23 goal difference now I'm going to redo this once again this time with the increase in the strength and jump and reach and we'll see how the results compare and wow in the very first season with the increase in strength and jump and reach Lecce finished eighth position just missing out on European football an absolutely massive increase compared to anything we saw during the ones without the increase they had a plus two goal difference which is huge compared to what they got before and 52 points now this might be an anomaly so we will do this four more times and see how they progress a little bit more modest in this second season but still a big increase finishing in 12th position with a minus seven goal difference and 47 points and on the third season it's pretty similar to the sort of result we're seeing in the second season let's year finishing in the 13th position this time with a minus 12 goal difference and 42 points on to the fourth season we go and again let's year seem to have found their sort of level with the strength and jump and reach increase finishing in 13th position at this point minus six goal difference 43 points one more season ago and finally in the fifth and final season Lecce once again confound expectations finishing in 10th position with a minus 18 goal difference and on 50 points now averaged out over the course of those five seasons Lecce actually averaged an 11th placed finish on mine uh, on 47 points with a minus eight goal difference that is an absolutely huge increase compared to where they were previously the six places higher in the league table they are 14 points higher than they averaged it without the strength and jump and reach and they also plus 15 goal difference now it's obviously expected that you boost any players uh, stats up to 20 they are going to be better than what they were like without them stats increased but if you watched my previous episode with Sheffield United where I boosted pace and acceleration, the actual increase was a lot more modest in that. And whilst this isn't a perfect experiment, there is a lot of variables that go into it. Having five seasons gives us a little bit of a clearer idea as to how things actually affect uh, how players play over the course of a season. And the fact that strength and jump and reach has increased let you so much whilst pace and acceleration did not increase Sheffield United as much is a bit of a shock to me. I don't know about you but when I'm looking at players regardless of position I'm always looking at pace and acceleration far more than I'm looking at strength and jump and reach unless they're a centre-back basically so 
yeah, maybe when you're looking at players these days, you take a little bit of a closer, keener eye on the jump and reach and strength as it seems to be pretty beneficial across the park, whereas pace and acceleration only seem to massively affect the strikers and the attacking players. So, interesting, interesting stuff. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like, and if you're interested in more Football Manager 20 experiments, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.